better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better if I give all my love, then nothing's gonna tear us apart. Your loving, I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your okay. So, I have ooh, I have a watermelon, some cuties. I really just picked up a bunch of fruit that I genuinely like, but the only thing I really don't care like, I like watermelon, but like, not like that. Key limes because I want to um, make like a a fruit salad type thing but i've seen this video where somebody has like squeezed the lime on top and like they use like lime and honey as like dressing for a fruit salad it looks good so i want to try it this is a cantaloupe i like cantaloupes this is the dragon fruit i never like i don't even know how i'm supposed to i don't know some plums i got some real thick i mean <laughs> not big real nice dark plums like they be so juicy i love plums since a kid i'm a granny bananas pineapple the fruit seems kind of small but I, i'm probably tripping blueberries blackberries raspberries mango strawberries green apples because what who's eating a red apple granny smith yeah grapes because i love grapes we're gonna see if this lasts me for seven days but if it don't i'll go back and get some more but it, it should but this is the only thing I'm gonna be eating, so it's like I gotta prepare myself. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm about to clean my fruit. I'm gonna like put all my berries in here and I'm gonna clean it with white vinegar and then some water. Sorry, I'm gonna no brown. I'm in the house. Like what? What y'all thought? I was about to get all for y'all. Please not. Like I'm gonna basically prep all my fruit so that I don't have, like I could just grab and go. So I'm gonna cut this pineapple, cut the watermelon. Cut the can a little. The mango isn't ready yet. It has to get a little softer. So I'll let that. And then the pomegranate. Should I cut the pomegranate if I had the seeds out and already ready? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with a dragon fruit. Like I never. So I don't know. Let's get started, shall we? Girls love Beyonce. Girls love to fuck with your country. Girls hate when niggas go missing. This job to you ain't no different. These days it's hard to meet women. Feel like my love life is finished. I've been avoiding commitment. That's why I'm in this position. I'm scared to let somebody in. No, 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 no. You know how this shit go. You got your best shake of the car. You run to call your phone. You try to act like it's just me, but I feel not alone. All right, so all my fruit is prepped and ready to go. Clean all that. Well, except like the um, I ain't take that out the bag, but that don't gotta be good. Anyway, the only thing I wasn't able to cut was the cantaloupe because I don't have any more um containers. So when a container become available, I'll cut the candle. And the other half of the watermelon, I wasn't able to cut either. This is only one half of watermelon in this big bowl. But yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I know y'all probably confused. Like, <laughs> ain't you doing a um a seven day fruit challenge? And I am, but it's not tomorrow. So, all jokes aside, I'm just really hungry. I didn't eat today for real. I had like one taco. What I'm gonna do with one taco? And I don't know what made me want Popeye because I don't eat Popeye. But I was like, man, I want some. <laughs> I don't think I fell that quick. It's the day before. I start the challenge tomorrow. 
I love Popeye's biscuits, but we all know that they're like dry as a, we all know that that shit is like swallowing a jean jacket. So I asked them for honey and um and jelly. I'm talking about one got none. But watch this. Guess who do got some? I got some. Don't play with me. Y'all know y'all sell the driest biscuits in America. Why? What do you mean you don't have jelly and honey? Make that make sense for me. I got the um ghost pepper wings. I mean, I'm lying. The sweet and spicy wings. I don't know what made me. Cause I don't eat Popeyes, but I'm just hungry. Let me see. Oh, this y'all like. They are. They don't look that good. I would sit them in the air fryer, but I don't feel like it. Like for the crunch, I should have said extra sauce. That's how I love sauce. I should have said extra crispy, extra sauce, extra crispy, extra wet. I'm trying to be in Atlanta. Can I get a ten, ten piece lemon pepper? Hot or mild? Everybody out here get lemon pepper mild. Extra wet, extra, what's the name? Well, this is good though. But I'm about to just eat these and watch babies. And then I'm really gonna, next time y'all see me, I'm gonna be eating fruit on everything. I promise. I'm just hungry today. But let me live. Because just let me live. I don't be, judge, I don't be judging y'all. I'm about to go watch babies and eat my wings and call it a night. Bye, y'all. Good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday. It's like 7 in the morning. I'm about to um, leave out for work. I mean, I got a new job. I don't know if I want to um, make like a smoothie and then take with me some fruit like to eat later. Or do I want to just grab something real quick? Grab a banana and then... Like, Later on, though, I'm going to get into it, like, why I'm doing it, like, what's my reason why I'm doing it, uh, what results I want to see, and, like, the benefits and stuff of it. Right now, I'm kind of in a rush a little bit. I really shouldn't be doing this. I really should just be doing what I got to do and leaving, but, you know, for the sake of the video, we're going to talk a little bit. My smoothies do be good. Do I have any, I don't have any granola, though. I mean, I have granola, but I don't like this one. It's, um, it's strawberry shortcake, but it tastes funny. Like, it tastes real cake, like, real artificial. When I get granola, I like to get, um, it'd be like French vanilla, almond, or something. Like, that'd be real good in a smoothie. And I'd be putting some oats in here. But, yeah, I'm about to probably just make, make me a smoothie or something real quick and then go, because I already have to go. But I just put some fruit in here. It's so cute. <laughs> Look at me. I'm too healthy. I put some fruit here to take with me. I'm not about to have no time to make a smoothie. I mean, I know a smoothie only takes a couple seconds, but no. And I still gotta go and stop and get gas. Like, I'm Good morning, y'all. So it's day two. I have work a little bit later. I got work at one, so I'm about to um make me a smoothie real quick and then start getting ready. It's 10.54 right now. Honestly, I feel good. I didn't get to um, finish recording yesterday because I did the twins here, so I wasn't able to like, you know. But I still stay strong. I ate my fruit. It's really easy. I don't know. It's only day one. They say usually by like day three is really when they start to hit you. But I'm about to make a um, strawberry, blueberry, and banana smoothie. And I'm going to put some oats in there. I'm so early that I don't have no granola. Because honestly, I really like the granola like for the texture. But it's cool. The oats do the same thing. So I'm going to... Um, do that. I'm gonna put some almond milk in there. I might put a little cinnamon or like, ooh, when I used to do this banana smoothie, I put banana, peanut butter, almond milk, the granola, and um, like cinnamon and nutmeg and vanilla. I said vanilla already? I don't know. But that should be so good. <laughs> I don't got no vanilla right now though. But yeah, I'm about to make this smoothie. Let's get into the smoothie. Yeah. Uh, say my name, say my name. Those other men are
practice. And this ain't no time for acting. And this ain't no time for games. And this ain't no time for uncertainty. And this ain't no time for blocking your phone. And now coming home and start some shit. I'm in the zone. This is what I've been saying. No, no, friends, no, no. I'll be coming on here looking any type of way. I'm really, I'm taking these braids out today. Because I'm really looking like this. Like, no reason. I just be lazy. Like, when you do your own hair, well, I can't speak for everybody else, but for me, I don't be feeling like doing this. But that's not why we're here. We're here to discuss this this fast. So, like I told you, I don't know my face and stuff just been breaking out. Honestly, I've been wanting to eat healthy. Like, I've been, I've been trying, but I just be like, I don't have enough self-discipline. I don't have no self-discipline, no self-control. So, I'm trying to I'm trying to be better on it, so that's why I'm like, let me challenge myself and just see if I could do it. And I really feel like I could do it. And if I, if I, well, when I complete this challenge, I'm gonna feel like it's nothing I can't do. Like, this is hard. You know, people love food. I love food. So not being able to eat what I want to eat, to eat fruit. Oh, nappy back there. Hold up. Hold up. Cut. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. So I'm like, okay. So I want to eat healthier because honestly, you are what you eat. If we being real, you are what you eat. And I don't, I don't eat too bad, but I don't eat the best. So I just want to just see what I can do. But this fruit fast has a lot of, I'm looking um, at my iPad. This fruit um fast has a lot of good benefits. Like the fruit fast, you have more energy, clearer skin. Um, it gives you like a mental clarity and i believe that like when you eat certain foods or well, what we'll get into today so mental clarity it cleanses your gut your body will benefit from like a digestive break and then it'll just detox like completely it burns like bad fats and then your body will start to use like distort fats it improves digestion it reduces bloating a lot of people have problems with bloating I don't know about your problems with blowing. I just think I just need to work out because, girl, please. It reduces illness. I'm not sure if y'all know about, like, Dr. Sabian and all that, but that man cured everything. And I believe that it is a cure for everything. And the foods that you eat, like, meat and stuff has a lot of, like, metals and a lot of just stuff in there that's really not good for you. And, you know, they making fake meat. Like, at this point, they put, they making meat in the damn lab. Well, it's just like, I don't know, you really can't trust me. Honestly, even the fruit, like they put stuff on the fruit too. If you like suffer from stomach aches and stuff, it just has a lot of good health benefits. It gives you the anti-aging effect. I don't need that. You know, I'm a young tender pony. And I don't look old. Maybe people my age looking old and dirt. Like how y'all look so old? Or they be younger than me looking old. But yeah, like basically it just gives you more energy. It clears your mind. like. Y'all can look it up for like more facts or whatever, but that's just a feel. But it really is like good. And honestly, I feel good. Like it's only the day two. So, and why ain't nobody tell me that cucumbers and peppers was a fruit? I ain't know that. Cause I was looking on TikTok, like looking at ways that I can make it like fun a little bit or like interesting. So I'm just not, I don't get bored with eating the same thing. Like eating just the same fruit. Cause when I went to Publix, like they had fruit there, but I wanted more. Like they didn't have a, a huge variety of fruits for me to choose from. Look at these braids. I'm playing. These braids, I had these braids on for like two weeks. Like girl, you're playing. It's six braids. They were so cute though. Everybody complimented me. I really might put them in again. Like redo them. But um, what was I saying? I be getting sidetracked. I had seen a salad, it's like a cucumber and pepper salad. And it had everything but the bagel seasoning, the ginger dressing, and this chili, like this chili oil crunch. It's like a chili onion crunch. I'll show all y'all later, cause I'm gonna make it later. After I finish this phase, I really do just wanna go straight vegetarian. Like I don't wanna eat no more meat. People always think, oh, where you wanna get your protein? Please, they put that shit in y'all, that protein shit, they put, these, they put that shit in your head. Meat is not the only source of protein, so please, you get it out of beans and all type of stuff. Yeah, I'm excited though. I really think I, I am going to um, do it for the seven days. Day two, I'm feeling good. I really have energy, like, 
don't know. Like, I woke up feeling good. Like, last day before I went to sleep, I was snacking on some grapes. The reason why I'm doing it, like, for me, I want clearer skin, obviously. Like, what you put in your body is what, it plays a part in the way that your skin looks, the way you feel, like, all that. I believe it, anyway. So, I want a clearer mind, I want more energy. I want to just feel good, like, and I just want to be healthy, like, from the inside. Like, when you healthy on the inside, it's going to show on the outside. So, I just want to, you know, just try it. If it's for me, it's for me. If it's not, it's not. But after this detox, like, after I get everything out and clean myself out, I just want to go straight vegetarian. But I seen, like, this reference. This man was talking about it. He was like, think of the fruit detox as, okay, so your house, it gets flooded, right? So then all the, like, your walls start deteriorating. Like, everything just starts breaking down, basically. And then it's floating, like, like your couch, your furniture, everything just floating around, right? And then it, it lets out. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but I understood it. Like, and that's basically what the detox is. Like, you put in fruit and stuff inside your body, it's cleaning everything out, it's letting every, all that bad stuff is coming out, basically. So, we're gonna see. They saying that you going, like, day three, you might start having, like, headaches or feeling like, you know, you can't do it or feeling like you want to give up. Well, I don't know. I'm cool. I feel good. Uh, you know how this shit go. This is not four years ago. Time escapes me now. Forget how it felt when this shit was slow. I come through these whips that make the young boy take the long way home. All my young boys round me straight. Get money and fuck these hoes. Where we learn these values. I, I know what to tell you. I'm just trying to find a reason not to go out and breathe. Someone that will help me because someone besides myself And because someone I leave to the front door We want to hide no more Much times I know we're going to be the other one Because I know we're going to be the other one Yo, I'm in the bed I know my face look greasy Mind your business You worry about the wrong thing I just made my little Don't worry about me eating in my bed It's my bed <clears throat> Like what? It's so good Like do you hear that crunch? Mm, 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 mm. It's the end of it's the end of day two, and I felt really good all day. Like I feel like I had energy and stuff all day, so mm, I'm feeling good. I'm excited for day three. We're gonna see what I'm gonna get up tomorrow and and eat. Well, obviously fruit, but like we're gonna see what what I'm going to do. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I look a mess, so don't worry about that. My face is giving grease monkey, but I just washed it. Worry about your mother, not me. But yeah, good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, it's day three today, and I'm eating watermelon with tahini. I ain't never had no watermelon with tahini, but this is good. Like, I like watermelon, but, like, not really. Like, it's not my preferred fruit. Like, I'm not going to go pick that up. But with the tahini, it's so good. Like, what? So, yeah, I'm about to snack on this. Yeah. You already know what time it is when I got this shirt on. I know. I had an interview. Of course I got the job. Like, come on now. Come on now. Call me Mrs. A Thousand Jobs. Unfortunately. But, um, I know, not unfortunately. I'm blessed. Yeah, it's day three. You see, I feel good. Like, I haven't. So, today I ate the watermelons with the, um, tahini. And then I had a banana before I left off for my interview. But my interview was at 4.30. And I left out around, like, 3.30. So, and right now it's, like, Maybe like six thirty, so I'm about to um go eat something, go make something up. It's crazy because like I really, I really am doing this, and I really can do it. Like I don't know why all the videos I'm watching, people like it's so hard. Like oh, I just want a piece of chicken. I don't know, it's not that hard for me. It's not that hard for me. Don't get me wrong, I do be thinking like damn. Or when I see some food, I'll be like. It looks good if I smell some food when I go outside. I'll be like, mm. but it ain't that neat. Y'all see, I took my braids out.
how I look crazy, but I'm about to um do my hair. I'm gonna put my braids back in. I'm gonna do, I'll probably do eight this time instead of six, but I gotta make sure I got enough braid hair because if not, I'm just gonna have to do it tomorrow. I have to do my hair by, by Saturday because I'm gonna go see sexy braids. Bend that ass on, let that Gucci braid. My favorite sexy braid song is I'm looking for the ho. Shake that ass on. I wanted to get a shirt that say it ain't my fault because that's my shit. She be like, it ain't my fault. I'm about to go eat something, eat some fruit. Cause I still never cut my dragon fruit. I still never opened up my pomegranate. And well, my mango not ready yet. And I did end up cutting my cantaloupe. That, that cantaloupe so good. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna munch on for the night, but we'll figure it out. I'll either talk to y'all later if I do my hair or I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. But yeah, day three is cool. I got so much energy. Like, I really feel good. Like, I'm not lying. I don't know. If, I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel fine. I feel, I, I've been waking up with, like, energy. Like, usually when I wake up, I be having to lay there for probably, like, 30 minutes to an hour, be on my phone, scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on TikTok. Like, but I literally, I wanted to wake up and just, I don't know, do a three-mile run. Like, I don't know, I just had so much energy, but I'm feeling it, I feel good. I'm gonna keep doing it. Monday is when it's over for me, so. Yeah, let's see. I'm waiting on my skin, like, when that's going, um, when that's going to clear up. Like, for real. But, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I know that I hurt you. Yeah. I was a child trying to be a man. To all my sons worldwide, all my juniors, I apologize for my absence. I know I left you without a name to drop. I don't know how I expected you to get your cloud up and get your money up, but don't worry. Daddy's home. Turn me up. Yeah. Niggas know they need to stop. Now I'm standing at the top. That's how I know you never seen the top. What's up, y'all? Please don't mind my hair. Do not mind it. <laughs> Today is Sunday. I'm still going strong. Still been eating my fruit. I just um, I just left church. I feel so good. And I say I feel like the pastor was just talking directly to me. Like it was just me and him in a room, and everything that like I don't know. Like I just felt like he was just talking directly to me. I felt it in my soul. Like I don't know what it was. I started crying. But yeah, if y'all in Atlanta and y'all looking for a church, I would definitely recommend the Faith Center. Well, it's in like Tucker, but you know, still Atlanta, kind of Atlanta area. I'm about to um make me a little something out of my fruit. I'm still going strong. It's the sixth day. Tomorrow's the seventh day. I've honestly been feeling so good. I have a lot of energy, but I'm going to do my hair today. Obviously, I didn't do my hair yesterday because Sexy Red, she canceled. I go to check my email Saturday morning and she canceled the concert. So I'm like, oh, okay. I really didn't feel like doing my hair anyway, but that really just gave me more of an excuse to not do it, so I didn't. But um, I have another interview tomorrow at this brunch spot, so I'm definitely gonna do my hair today, like put my braids in because there's no point in me like trying to press my hair out or nothing because my hair do not <laughs> work well being pressed out in this weather. So, yeah i'm about to go eat something and then and yeah i look crazy i ain't been wearing no lashes or nothing like i'm just out here my face still this is so dark because i popped it this maybe like don't pop your pimple because it's gonna leave a dark mark but mine leave a dark mark regardless like if i pop it or not so it's like i might as well i'm not about to walk around with something on my face i might as well just pop it oh my gosh my hair looks crazy Crazy. I can't believe I walked out the See, because I had washed my hair before I left this morning. I washed my hair. And I did not have time to press it out and stuff. Like, I, I just knew I didn't have time. I wanted to make it to church one time. So, I called myself trying to hurry up and wash my hair. So, I just washed it and blow dry it. And I threw it back in a bun. I'm looking crazy, but it's fine. God loves me. God accepts people <laughs> as they are. So I was already right, going to church like this. Let me show you my little outfit. This is what I wore. 
I don't have church clothes. I don't really have no clothes. So I made the best, you know, I did with what I, whatever. I did the best with what I had. If that's how you say, I don't know. But I still look cute though. It's just, you know, I don't know. People be wearing whatever they want to church. I've seen people with hoodies, all that. You know, God don't care. As long as you come in to do what you got to do and praise him. That's all that matter. You don't care about what you got on. Just, I really look crazy. I'm sitting here eating the um, cucumber and pepper salad. I put some Caesar dressing in it. It's so good. Like, this is so good. This is something that I'm going to keep eating. Like, even... Oh, my gosh. I look so... Even after I'm, like, done with the fast, I'll still eat this because this is good. Like, I know. Y'all hear that crunch? Oh, my goodness. But, yeah. Let's hope I'm not lazy today and I'm able to do my hair. I hate doing my hair. Like, I love doing it, but I hate doing it at the same time, but... Hopefully, I'm able to get it done today. If not today, I'm going to press it out for my interview tomorrow and call it a day. Because when I press my hair out and do my... I'm going I'm to give y'all a video. <clears throat> That's what I'll do. My next video, I'm going to record me doing my um, feed-ins. Because a lot of people were asking me, like, I, people were like, I know you didn't do those. They were telling me to make a video on it because they really look good. Like, I got so many compliments on them braids. They were loving them, so yeah. I'm going to do that and call it a day. Good morning, y'all. It's the seventh day. Finally. It's the seventh day of this fast. I did it. So today's my last day. You don't know how bad. Like, I haven't had hot food in seven whole days. I'm so hungry for some hot food. I've literally been eating. Like, I really did it. Like, I really did this for my self-control and my self-discipline and to just, like, you know, and I really did it, and I'm proud of myself. So, I don't know. I low-key want to eat something today, like, but I ain't going to do it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. One more day is not going to hurt me. So, I'm about to go out there, eat something, eat one of them fruits. I really want some pancakes. I want some pancakes so bad, and I want to put, like, blueberries in my pancakes. I'm not going to do it tomorrow. Y'all see my hair? I cut my hair last November to like right here. Like it was so short. It was like right here. Let me look. Yeah. It's giving healthy. Yeah. What y'all know about healthy hair? Hey y'all. It's the next day. It is, what's today? It's Tuesday. My fast is over. I just ate me some pancakes. They were so good. I made like blueberry pancakes. They was chef's kiss. I really full now though. Like I made two and I'm like stuffed. Like, you know, I ain't been eating nothing. So I, I was really getting full off my fruit. But yeah, I just came here to close off the vlog. I really do feel good. Um, I think I'm going to do this. I'll probably do this fast like mm, every couple of months. Just to like really clean me out or whatever. But yeah, I feel good. One thing I could say that this fast did for me, I'm um, definitely like energy is on 10. I still got little bumps on my face or whatever, but I could see the difference in my skin. So I guess slowly it'll just start to change if I keep eating good. My stomach, when I say flat, like I never, my stomach was never fat because I'm not big, like I'm small, but like. I don't know like it's flat <laughs> it's like nothing in it like it's like flat you know how you wake up in the morning and your stomach just be flat that's how my stomach been for this uh well fast like so i definitely recommend if you like bloated people do it for weight loss i didn't do it for weight loss i don't want to lose no weight if anything i'm trying to be thick thicker than a snickers but i'm trying to be i ain't trying to lose no weight but my stomach is definitely like my stomach is nice and like it's crazy like my weights i already had a small weight but it's like i don't know i just could see the difference i can see the difference so i would definitely recommend if y'all want to just try it just to like see what you can do or like challenge yourself 
to it fast i would definitely say try this one and it doesn't have to be for seven days i did it for seven days because i'm just extra but most people do it for three days or five days so or just until they can't do it anymore but i'm always trying to just be extra so sorry i messed with my hair this whole i know that's probably annoying but i would definitely recommend to do this fast i feel good my skin is going to get better slowly. It's getting better slowly, but surely. I just know I got to stop stressing out about stuff. I'm excited. I'm excited to, like, try. Because now I'm about to just, I'm going to attempt to be vegetarian. I, I don't know. I could do it. Obviously, I could do it. Or, like, maybe start off, like, pescatarian. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm definitely about to be eating cleaner and eating better and just taking care of my body from the inside so I could glow on the outside. Well, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. Once this get old, like once my, um, this starts getting old, I'm going to put braids in it. Because honestly, I like when my hair is a little straightened out before I do my um, feedings because my hair is so thick it be, it's, it's better for it to be pressed out a little bit so my braids could lay flat I don't know might be a little flatter but yeah thank y'all so much for watching make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video bye y'all